Hello, this is Gio. Hey, I'm up in an attic right here and I want to show you a little bit of an issue I'm having up here. So hopefully the camera can see this, but as I go down uh, the roof here, you start seeing that at the bottom, it looks pretty wet there. And I've already walked up to that little area and it is actually damp. Well, you might just say, hey Gio, you got a leak in your roof. But actually, it's not that simple. Now, actually, if you come up just like here and see these little nails right here, and let me see if I can zoom into one of them. You look right there, look, there's a little water drop on that. And there's quite a few with little droplets of water. You can see another one right there. So you say, hey, Geo. Well, those, those nails are just basically going through your roof and causing leaks. Well, that's not the issue either. Now here's a little clue. This side of the roof is on the north side. And this side, where you don't really see moisture, and if you examine the nails closer, you really don't see many drops on this side. But this is on the south side of the roof. Okay, so I'll get to the point and tell you what's going on. You see, the water that we're seeing here is as a result of water coming out of the air inside the attic, not what's coming through the roof. You see, warm air uh, from usually the living area uh, comes up into the attic. Perhaps, you know, there's a lot of insulation here, but there's probably a fair amount of holes coming in. And it, the warm air comes into the colder attic, and especially when it hits or uh, comes in contact with the colder roof, well, the warm air has a lot more water, and when it cools down, it drops the water out. It, the water condenses, and they especially like to condense on these little nails here, which are already starting to rust. And if you look down on the ground, you might actually see, here, let me move over here for a sec. You see, you see on that little cardboard, you see little, little spots there? Well, that's water dripping from those nails. And water, uh, especially in this roof, on the north side, lower down, is when the, there's kind of a little special sweet spot where the air temperature and uh, the condensation point hits perfectly. And so you get a lot of condensation right in that lower part of the roof. Now the reason you don't see the same thing on the south side of the roof is because the sun tends to warm up this part of the roof a little bit more and so you don't get as much condensation there. So how do you fix this issue? Well, it's air circulation. Now, you do have vents. If you look up here, you have a vent on the roof there, a vent on the roof there. You have some of these vents on the side here. But now, examining these little vents here, you see the little cardboard that's on the insulation there. Now that cardboard was installed to separate the uh, air vents to allow a path through the, vent, uh, the insulation. But as you see here on the wet side, especially, you see the cardboard is actually pinching out or off the air circulation on these little vents. Now I'm going to very carefully climb near one of these cardboards here and just kind of pull it away here and as you can see oh there it is oh I can actually even feel the air coming after I open this up now uh, the problem here is that a lot of these vents are kind of clogged up because just the cardboard sort of blew into them and if you pull that away make sure that the insulation doesn't get to these vents you actually generate more airflow and I bet you anything if I start moving these things away from the vents and let w and air enter here, you won't have this issue anymore. So I'm gonna move these things away, make sure that we get nice exposed vents so the air will come up here and exit there and you won't have this stagnant air, warm air that can condense water. Okay, and there you have it. I did kind of read just some of these cardboards uh, little spacers here to open up these vents and I could already feel the air circulate a little bit better and I bet you anything I come back in a few days to a week and a lot of that wood will be dr much drier I probably won't see little dew drips on these nails 
Uh, basically, I've opened this up so air will circulate and flow in and out through the upper vents. Now, this was a pretty simple fix for this attic, but yours uh, might be a little more complicated. Um, first step is just to see where your vents are and see if they're blocked. Second, uh, you may not have enough ventilation in general. You may have to actually install more vent uh, holes, uh, maybe even <clears throat> put a fan in your attic to help redirect some of this moisture, get, get air moving around, or even in, in, uh, improve your insulation in your attic to prevent the water or the moist warm air from your house coming up into your attic. So there's a variety of things you can do, different solutions for different types of attics, uh, but either try to uh, see if you can find a solution yourself or hire a professional. So I hope this uh, video helped you out and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.